Tom, the Oyster River Youth Association says it is looking into this alleged conversation. Now in an email to the organization, the father says his daughter is the only girl in the league, and if action is not taken, he'll be forced to pull her from it. He says two other coaches told him about this situation. A Madbury father claims two coaches conspired to try to get his daughter to quit a baseball league. The alleged conversations took part at a downtown Durham bar last month during a player draft. His email saying in part that one of the coaches said that he'll have a player on his team bean her right in the ear hole and she'll quit instantaneously. We just hope that uh, this family is able to get some uh, relief from the situation and um, we obviously are are happy that things are being investigated. Durham Town Council Chair Kitty Marple says while Durham does budget about $40,000 to help fund the association, they don't have any leadership over it. The Oyster Reviews Association has been around for decades now. They're an excellent organization, but uh, they have their own board of directors um, and they will have their own uh, investigation of what has occurred. In a statement to News 9, the director of the Oyster River Youth Association said they encourage boys and girls to take part and say they always take steps to ensure the safety of those involved and believe volunteer coaches are a vital part of this community. Their mothers, fathers and leaders who volunteer their time and energy spend countless hours helping children and look out for the well-being of all kids. Now we reached out to that parent by phone call, email and text, but never heard back. Meantime, Durham police say they are not involved in this investigation. Live in the studio, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.